everybody, it's Greg. I'm here with my Sea Star, and tonight we are going to start on our quest to image the entire Andromeda galaxy with the Sea Star, and we are going to have to do it in steps because, as you're going to see, when I go to the Andromeda galaxy, the galaxy is going to be much larger than the uh, sensor. So, we're going to have to take several shots of the Andromeda Galaxy and merge those images together in Photoshop. And let's start out by going to the Andromeda Galaxy. Here we go. Oops. All right, that's going to be good enough. And yeah, a real cool part with the new firmware that was released right around August 8th, 2024, is when you're finding an object, it tells you the distance from the target. And that's a very cool feature. We're a tenth of a degree away from the target. All right, so you can see here that uh, it's going to take several panels to get the entire Andromeda galaxy. Three, like five panels, six if I want to get uh, M110, wow, okay, so let's start with this one and see how far we get. It has the light pollution filter on, and I think with galaxies, I'm kind of surprised at this because galaxies are not really supposed to have the filter on. I think you want an infrared filter. Maybe that's what it's selected. I don't know. The filter's automatically on. And one of my biggest problems here with the Sea Star is you don't know if it's a light pollution filter or an IR cut filter. Uh, you can tell by the file name though. So it's taken about a minute's worth of images. Let's go see if we could find those FITS files. We're going to go on the Sea Star over here in M31 sub. Let's look at the file name. Will it tell us the file name? Yeah, this is unfortunate. How do you look at the file name? Yeah, this is really unfortunate. I see no way to look for the file names here. But you can see M31 is starting to come out here. I might do 10 or 15 minutes on each segment and try to splice them together just as a test. Well, all right, we're about 17 minutes in on the Andromeda Galaxy. And you can see that uh, the galaxy is starting to brighten up pretty well. But since this is basically a test operation right here, I'm going to go into the star map and move the sensor and the sea star over to the right a little bit and catch the right edge of uh, the Andromeda galaxy. And then we're going to, minimum, we're going to try to splice the next image with this set of images that we took and see how we do. All right, so 18 minutes in, I'm gonna click the share button to save that screenshot. Now we're gonna go over to uh, the star map and there's M32. You can see that we would have another one, two, and probably three more sides over here to get the entire Andromeda galaxy in there. Yeah, so I don't know if I can just go to while it's in the middle of imaging. I should probably stop. Yeah, we're 19 minutes in. It is looking pretty good. Maybe I'll wait for 20 minutes in. Yeah, so for those of you who are not aware, once you start imaging any object, you have plate solved. So that's how you uh, plate solve in the Sea Star. 
in the ASI Air, there's like a plate solve button that you can click. Uh, the C-Star does not have that. So once you start imaging, that is uh, your plate solving. Starting to get a lot of details here. All right, that's 20 minutes. Let's stop. Pretty cool. Looks like it worked. Don't really see much now, but we'll wait after 20 minutes and uh, check back. I think this little dot right there is M32. Let's mark it. Yeah, M32. Yeah, you know, maybe I wasn't uh, over far enough, or I went over too far. So I'm going to stop. I think I'm going to do that. Alright, now over on the left hand side you should see a little bit of the core. Alright, well we're going to let this go for another 20 minutes and come back when we move to the next location. Alright everybody, here we are. We are back. We are almost done with the second panel of M31 so let's stop the integration we're going to move over to the right or no we're going to move over to the left hand side of M31 so first panel was here second panel was there third panel is going to be right here Actually, third panel is going to be right there. I'm going to do a go to. All right, there you go. That is pretty simple. We will check back in 20 minutes and go to the left this time. And maybe we will be able to have time to get the entire. Andromeda Galaxy and then it's time to post process and check out the final result We may have a video specifically explaining how I post processed these images and Combined everything together to get one master image All right. Well, that's a little bit about how I plan to image the entire width of M31 with the sea star and as always, at the end of the video, you can check out the results of the images that I have so far. Clear skies, everybody.